Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I want to show you how to make these solid granny squares. I did do the other granny square, this is the solid version. Very easy to do. It's a very straightforward um, thing for beginners as well. And um, everybody wants to learn how to make a granny square. There are lots of tutorials, but you have one from me. And um, three rows. And I'm just using standard DK yarn, lightweight number three, and a four millimeter crochet hook for this. So the other thing I wanted to say is that you can do two rounds and make really small ones. Some people like really small ones. And this is probably the standard one for a blanket, but you can go bigger or you can make the entire piece of just a solid granny square. So it's very versatile. So let me show you how to begin this. What you want to do is a magic circle. So to do a magic circle, hold your yarn, wrap it around once and put that bit at the back there. Put your hook under, grab your loop, pinch your work and let everything drop. So that'll be your tail. And that'll be your working yarn here on your finger. So chain two and place two double crochets. So to do a double crochet yarn over, let me just show that for you again. So chain two, yarn over, go into the loop, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, pull through two and pull through two. I will take my time on this one because it's a very simple project and I want the um, beginners to join in. So I'm consciously going to make a make it very slowly. Then you chain two, yarn over, go into the magic circle, pull up a loop, pull through two and pull through two. And you want to do that three times. Yarn in pull up through, pull through two, and chain two. You can give that a little bit of a tug if you want something to hold on to. Yarn over, go into the circle, pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull through two. Yarn over, go in again, pull through two, and pull through two. Yarn over, go in again, pull through two, and pull through two. These are your double crochets. So you've the first chain two will act as one. And the reason why I'm doing two, not three, is that when we close the round, it's just a bit more hidden and it's not so obvious. And it doesn't affect the shape at all. So you've got the three, chain two, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain two. And we need one more set. So yarn over, go into the loop, Pull up a loop, pull through two and pull through two. Yarn over, go in, pull through two and pull through two. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, pull through two and pull through two. Once you've got your four, one, two, three and four, chain two. Just pull your work a little bit, not too much, so we can see what we're doing. So there's your two double crochets here. And there's your chain two, so chain one and chain two. Slip stitch into there, pull the loop through there and pull the loop through there. Now you have joined your work. Now you can give the center piece a bit of a tug. There, nice and snug. So round two is chain two. Then we immediately go on, we've got two double crochets here, so we need to do two double crochets. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, pull through two and pull through two. Yarn over, go into the stitch. Same as what we did here, but we're now doing, working the stitches. Pull through two and pull through two. Every corner is going to have two double crochets and two stitches. So go straight into the corner now. Yarn over, go in, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. So you've got your two double crochets, chain two, and then two more 
double crochets. Okay, so we've made a corner. What we need to do now is if you if just in case it's covered, pull your work aside. There's always a stitch right there. Go in and do a double crochet there. And then the next one, there's one more there. Okay. So you've got the two chain two space, so go in, yarn over, go in to that section, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, do that one more time, chain two, and then yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull through two. Just want to say, say that I am actually really going through these stitches. Um, I want, like I said, um, a granny square is such an achievement for people who do first start off. It's, you know, it's one of the first things that they make and, you know, holding the crochet hook and managing your yarn, it's all a new experience. So I do apologize to any of my normal viewers that are, you know, that, um, but this is, it's one for you, but I'm sure you know how to make the uh, square by now, but let's go. So push, pull your work aside, go into the next one, pull through two and two, yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, pull through two and two. There's one more here, yarn in, pull through two and two. So you come to the third corner. So you want to do two in there, chain two, Yarn over, go into the same spot, pull through two and pull through two. Yarn over again, pull through two and pull through two. You will immediately see a tiny stitch there, go into that one and do a double crochet as well. And the next one, yarn over, go in, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the stitch, pull through two, pull through two. And then we're back to the corner here. So yarn over, go into the space, Pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull through two. Okay, do slow me down. I am trying to go as slow as possible, but if I'm still too fast, you can put me on slow mo uh, from your YouTube app. Chain two, and then there's our first double crochet, and that's the chain two that we do in the beginning of every round. You want to place your hook not into the first one, into the second one there, right through. Grab your yarn and pull it through there and then through there. That's round two. Okay. And on to the last round, same again. Always begin with chain two. Yarn over, go into the next stitch and do your double crochets right till the end. There's your space. Two double crochets chain two and two more then go into that little space there one two three four five six and should be one more there seven so we're now into the corner. So you need to put two double crochets into there and chain two. Two more. And then immediately go into the little stitch and work across. Until you get to the corner. Okay, here's the corner, go straight in, double crochet two times, chain two, into the same space and a further two. If you're unsure of how to do the double crochets at all, I do have a separate um, video listed 
wanted to say that in the beginning actually if you're finding this still a bit too tricky to do go and watch that video and once you've mastered how to hold the hook and the yarn i have actually got three videos one to actually how to hold the hook and yarn and do the chains and then the next one is um single crochet half double crochet but there is a double crochet in there for you as well so go have a look at those and then come back to this if you're having any problems I do like the solid ones as well one more here and what you want to do is you've got your last space there two double crochets chain two and two double crochets into that space and you want to slip stitch to the, the chain two here okay yarn over chain one and slip your work okay and here we have you can block your squares if you want to Uh, let me just grab your needle normally you this is what you would do grab your needle for the individual squares and you can just work across up to here and then go back into your work just to hide your tail ends So that's all there is to a solid granny square. So this is for my beginners. And you can see Hope you like. Okay, hope you like the tutorial. Thanks for watching. If Again, if there are any beginners out there that are really struggling and just want me to show you something really simple, um, do message me and I'll um, show you, uh, you know, I can help you. So it's not a problem. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe uh, and um, like what you see. And if you've got any children that would, would really love to learn how to crochet, send them to my videos um, or you can show them um, of how to hold a hook like I said and to chain and how to do these stitches it can be quite frustrating my daughter tried and she really just could not get her head, <laughs> she, she head around she doesn't have her creativity uh, skills from me at all so um, so she, yes she's just said mom it's not working but um, it is a technique to master, but there is a lot of support out there on YouTube for anyone who wants to learn these things, and I'm one of them. So uh, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next one.